Hello guys! Last Light Enthusiast here. So today you can probably tell by the title of this video I'd like to present to you the TrueLight T2, their EDC series flashlight, uh, but uh, I would say on the steroids guys, because this one uses the Cree XHP 70.2, almost 4000 lumens for such a small package and obviously uh, the gaining popularity, the 21700 battery included in the set, uh, USB rechargeable, so definitely a nice addition, but guys, if you want to learn more about this flashlight, please stay with me, and now let me present to you what we get in the package. I ordered this one from their direct uh, internet store from truenight.com, uh, and as you can see, the, the box is pretty standard for a truenight, plain cardboard, uh, I think it's kind of stylish, you know, very simple, but, but stylish. We've got the picture of the flashlight itself, the model, uh, and we've got some uh, options here. This one only comes in cool white and neutral white, uh, but recently they also um, launched the limited edition of this flashlight with different colors. This one uh, standard is black, but they also have uh, the blue one and the desert tan one. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive, but still uh, quite affordable. This one goes in the uh, $70 range, and those uh, limited edition are a little bit more expensive. Uh, so guys, let's open up the box, let's see what we've got inside. Alright, so <clears throat> we've got a standard TrueLight manual, uh, four languages, so it's Chinese, Japanese, German, and luckily we've got also English. Um, yeah, so that might be useful. Uh, this flashlight is simple, but I suggest reading the manual or listening to my tutorial uh, to the end. Uh, basically, it is very nice that TrueNight actually explaining every feature in the manual, uh, which in some cases might be uh, crucial for you guys to understand what, uh, what is going on with your flashlight. So definitely read the manual first. Uh, before starting to playing with your new flashlight. But apart from manual, uh, we also have holster, uh, which is which is quite nice. Uh, I have to admit that the quality of this material is excellent. And we've got some stretchy material here on the side, so you can put the flashlight either head up or head down without any problems. Uh, yeah, and I would tell that this this uh, holster was special designed for this model, so it fits perfectly. And we've got the fixed belt loop, no velcro here, guys, and uh, the D-ring. So yeah, the, the the flashlight generally sits in very well, and the velcro is quite strong. So yeah, nice quality here, true night, very well made. And apart from that, we also have our standard package, which is the True Knight lanyard. Uh, two o rings that are spare, you know, in case they, they wear, wear off. And we also have, uh, I don't know if it's standard in this model, please let me know in the comment section below. But I have got two spare rubber covers from the USB uh, port. Uh, I usually get only one, but in this case, I got two of them. What, what, what one is here? and the other one is, is here. So it's kind of surprising, especially that the port sits really tightly here, but, uh, well, I'm not criticizing that. I appreciate that very much. And the last but not least, we've got the USB to USB-C charging cable. Uh, it is about 40 centimeters long. And that's, that's all that we have in the package. All right, let's put this one aside and see the flashlight itself, which is our main character in the story. Uh, let's talk build quality for a second, guys. It is a $70 flashlight, mm, I already to told you that, uh, and uh, definitely the, the shiny uh, anodization is, is top-notch quality. Uh, the grip here is, is also excellent, uh, despite the shiny uh, anodization and finish. Uh, the clip, oh guys, the clip is nice black matte finish. Uh, looks really expensive and premium. Um, it is bi-directional, so yeah, pretty standard nowadays, but it is uh, 
deep carry and you can actually wear this flashlight either bezel up or bezel down which is very nice addition uh, it also sits very well i wouldn't suspect it detaches from the flashlight accidentally uh, and the rotating of the clip also requires some force uh, definitely well made uh, we've got a metal button actually it's not plastic it's not rubber it's actually metal one and the ring outside of the button is also metal so you've got this little scratching noises metal to metal and the tactile feedback of, of this uh, switch is simply excellent guys hear that loud click oh yes very much suitable for underreal unfortunately it does not run underreal but if it did the switch will be perfect uh, okay we've got also stainless steel bezel some coolic fins uh, which will help dissipate all this heat uh, but i will show you later that it actually does not heat up that much despite all the the power uh, what else here guys we've got a shallow reflector quite quite shallow i, uh, I mean and this giant Creex hp 70.2 led uh, this one is neutral white but you can also order it uh, in cool white if you prefer that option i don't um but yeah definitely perfectly centered led and the reflector is is very shallow so it will give you nice spread very wide beam with big hot spot so for edc purposes uh, i think it is a uh, well-made choice um this this beam pattern uh, all right guys let uh, let me show you the insides threads nice and smooth thick and square so nice quality threads there And the driver the center of the flashlight is here as you can see the the, the battery seems to be proprietary with uh, double contact on one side and uh, one contact on the other uh, actually it is proprietary battery but you can actually use normal 21700 cell in this flashlight because as you can see the driver requires only one contact uh, but the problem might be with the length of the cell because this one is protected uh, so it is quite lengthy and as I compared this one to the Samsung 50E uh, unprotected one but, uh, flat top as you can see there's this uh, 3 or 4 millimeter difference uh, so actually I tested uh, this one inside and I got some connection problems because this cell is uh, just a little bit a hair too short uh, let me show you what I mean. First of all, the noise. Yeah. And uh, the second sign. Oops. Pity. But you know what? In horizontal position, actually, uh, it should operate. Oh, yeah. But it might be, uh, you know, accidental operation, you know. So uh, I would rather suggest uh, either using the provided TrueLight battery, which is long enough and test it, uh, or just uh, avoid using the flat top unprotected batteries because they might be too short. But otherwise, why would you need the spare battery if you have the, the highest capacity possible included and you can very quickly recharge the one? Speaking of charging, uh, we've got modern USB-C charging port here for a very fast charging. Uh, actually, guys, um, I've tested this one with my homemade kit uh, and I got some pretty accurate results to those that uh, are claimed by the manufacturer. As you can see, while plug, we've got this uh, red indicator. Uh, while it is charging, when it is charged, uh, it will turn blue and we, if we have some error, like, you know, broken connection, it will blink on violet, so mix of blue and, and red. Uh, but speaking of the speed of charging, uh, in my test, it took about three and a half hours to fully charge this battery and the current was uh, very very close to that uh, claimed by the true knight which was two amps i measured between 1.99 amps to 2.08 uh, amps i believe you can see right now on the screen uh, so very very accurate measures and i'm pleased with uh, to seeing that definitely uh, 
all right let's go uh, through the UI uh, this one is uh, really simple uh, I wish to use the one um, from the true knight t1 uh, with ramping mode but uh, they didn't I'm not sure why but uh, this one is definitely very simple to use all right so one click for on one click for off nothing fancy here uh, if you want to access you know other levels just click on and then hold the button to cycle through low medium and high low medium high so that's the loop there and obviously you can uh, double tap for turbo ouch guys it is powerful holy shit and again from off or on triple click for strobe mode one two three one two three sorry oh yeah this is quite disturbing ouch my eyes uh, so self-defense possible all right and we also have some shortcut to moonlight level uh, hold the button from off to access this very very dim uh, moonlight level and actually to exit this one you have to turn off the flashlight and then you will enter the loop because if you hold the side switch uh, from moonlight mode you know I have to change levels uh, it will just enter the lockout function and as you can see it will indicate with red uh, light under the button so again to exit this you have to hold the button again and then click to off and then click again to turn the flashlight on into normal loop and as you can see we've got this blue indicator under the switch when the flashlight is on to indicate you the battery level and again true like this did this in a three uh, step scale we've got the solid blue when the charge is sufficient we've got a solid red when it is uh, insufficient power and uh, red uh, blinking uh, indicator under the switch when you probably should uh, recharge your battery or replace the one you have in yep the driver on this flashlight is outstanding just like in the case of the true knight tn36 ut uh, and the true knight tn36 limited uh, even with depleted batteries uh, and when the flashlight turns on itself after the resetting the contact you can actually access uh, the modes but uh, in this case you can only access the low and the medium mode uh, so no turbo but still uh, after depleting the batteries all the way down uh, you can still turn on the flashlight for a couple of seconds you know so the <laughs> the driver capabilities uh, are outstanding and uh, obviously the, the flashlight will tell you by the red indicator under the switch that uh, you should probably replace the batteries but uh, it still turns on wow Still holding, still holding, blinking with red. Quite some power left. Ha! Huh. And now it's off. Uh, so definitely I would like to see like you know more broad scale like incorporating this purple LED that is already inside the, the head uh, to indicate you know the, the sufficient power to split it, uh, split it between you know, two groups for example uh, blue between 4.2 volts and 3.9 volts to indicate that you have very good power and then violet between 3.8 to 3.4 to indicate that is it is good but not um, very high power uh, left uh, yeah that might be that might be useful all right guys uh, yeah this flashlight uh, definitely has some drawbacks um, I would say that uh, probably uh, the one that I already mentioned is that the UI uh, could be the one from the true knight t1 with you know this ramping interface which is very very useful and more versatile with that fixed modes i believe uh, the second thing is the lack of magnetic tail cap guys if it if it is the edc flashlight then why uh, true knight did not include the magnetic tail cap as they did in the true knight t1 
it might be it might be useful it might be useful uh, even if they didn't it might be it might be fine to just you know start to offer the spell tail cap because it can actually be uh, unscrewed from the flashlight itself just you know offer spare tail cap for a couple of dollars for the users that already have the true knight t2 just to if they want buy the the spare tail cap with magnet and attach the the new one uh, and the third one is obviously the greenish tint that uh, it is typical for Cree xhp 70 uh, especially in neutral white but again uh, this flashlight has not been made for the tint it has been made for functionality durability and sustainability as you can see right now on the screen i've done some measurements with my lux meter uh, i like to test the flashlight in that way and as you can see i've measured the turbo and high output uh, the turbo obviously will uh, step down but as you can see uh, actually the flashlight did not exceed 50 degrees celsius so the the thermal regulation here is uh, somehow um, a little bit conservative i would say uh, maybe it could be raised to 60 degrees to safely no not harm the user's hand but still allow the the levels of uh, of light to be sustained for a longer time but still the result is uh, amazing look at the chart the high and, and turbo stabilize at around 1000 lumens and hold steady for one and a half hours two hours so it's definitely amazing performance for such a compact flashlight and uh, bear in mind that the temperature was still moderate so nothing to criticize here really amazing job through night uh, i would like to to see such uh, charts in more and more flashlights but again this is the legendary true night driver so you know it is quite unique for that manufacturer and that's that that's what we uh, respect definitely all right guys uh, i have one topic left for you uh, if you would like to you know improve the the green tint here uh, it is actually mm, appearing that uh, it is the new led on the market that uh, can replace the xhp 70.2 a little bit less efficient but great tint and cri this is the gtfc 40 in the future show you uh, how it looks with the modded led uh, so guys stay tuned but for now let's go into the forest and show you how it operates this is the low mode Probably you cannot see it on the camera as I can see it right in front of me, but it is green. It is green, especially in the hotspot. Let's ramp it up to medium. Uh, and this is, bear, bear in mind, this is only a hotspot. So illuminating the whole road, like two meters wide, with just a hotspot. And the spill is huge. The spill is really huge. It reminds me of TN36. So basically, shell reflector. Uh, and giant LED gives you such a beam. Let's go into the high mode. Oh yeah, now we are talking. Look at this spill. Almost 180 degrees. So basically, white spot. Let's go to true mode. Oh yeah, this is almost for thousand lumens very bright indeed giving you nice side illumination as you can see with nice stabilization I have to admit oh yeah definitely look at this very nice and this flash I can hold the brightness pretty long no step down like in this pocket rocket so definitely useful beam Perfect for EDC, I would say, but you won't achieve some throw it. I mean, like 100 meters, maybe 150 barely, because uh, the light is simply diffused. There's no focused spot in here, right? So, very bright and very wide beam. Alright, and let's go to moonlight mode. barely even illuminated anything but if you need something really 
them then this mod might be quite useful for you Okie dokie, let's sum it up guys. As you may probably notice, I'm really impressed with this one. I mean, I can I can bear the, the, the ugly tint uh, because I'm waiting for my uh, uh, GTFC 40 emitter to arrive, but uh, apart from that, actually this flashlight is amazing. Uh, as you could see on the chart, it, it has crazy sustainability, a huge amount of capacity in the battery. Uh, you've got the included set of cable, battery and the flashlight, obviously nice holster. Build quality is superb on this one uh, and it does not heat up crazy. Uh, so you can even borrow this one, you know, to somebody that is not experiencing flashlight and he won't uh, harm himself. Uh, and the beam is very useful, as you could see on the, uh, on the beam shots. Uh, it is quite ideal for EDC purposes. It won't throw that much but you will see everything in front of you and a huge flood area will be presented. So definitely guys recommending this one to you. Uh, I bought this one at truenight.com uh, so there is also the blue and desert town limited editions now available so if you don't like the, the black one you can cha change the color. Uh, and as always guys, thank you so much for watching, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button because more videos are on the way, uh, make sure you leave the comment if you have any questions for me, and as always guys, stay safe, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.